tower, Jesus, my strength this hour, Jesus, you're my deliverer, yes, you are, Jesus. The goodness of Jesus. I'm Vivian Brown. Thank you so very much for joining us today. Well, let's get right into our prayer, and then we're going to jump right into the message for today. Dear Heavenly Father, we first of all are coming to you as humble as we know how. Father, we want to say thank you. Thank you so very much for all that you do for us each and every day. Father, we thank you for being our provider, Father, for making sure that every single need is met each and every day. Father, we thank you for being our protector, Father, for watching over our families, Father, our children each and every day. Thank you so very much for our covering, Father. Father, we thank you for being our healer, the healer of all things, Father. Thank you so much for being a mender of broken hearts. Father, we just want to say thank you this day for who you are. Father, we thank you for giving us the courage each and every day to face a new day. Father, we ask I ask right now, Father, for everyone that is watching this video, that you make sure that each of them have the courage they need to face any adversity that they have each and every day, Father. It is in his name we pray. Amen. Adversity. It seems to always be lurking somewhere around the corner, just waiting on an opportunity to cause problems. It is defined as a state of hardship or misfortune. It is anything that will make your life more difficult. So every problem in life is considered adversity. It can be as small as having to sit before a panel of judges for an interview or as large as having your home to burn all the way down to the ground and everything in it. Well, at some point, courage has to meet up with adversity in order for us to be successful in this life. Finding the courage to stand before the face of adversity is our message for today. Take a look at this. Dismissed from drama school with a note that read, wasting her time, she's too shy to put her best foot forward. Turned down by the Decca recording company who said, we don't like their sound and guitar music is on the way out. A failed soldier, farmer, and real estate agent. At 38 years old, he went to work for his father as a handyman. Cut from the high school basketball team, he went home, locked himself in his room, and cried. A teacher told him he was too stupid to learn anything, and he should go into a field where he might succeed by virtue of his pleasant personality. Fired from a newspaper because he lacked imagination and had no original ideas. His fiance died, he failed in business twice, he had a nervous breakdown, and he was defeated in eight elections. If you've never failed, you've never lived. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 through 9 says, We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. Finding the courage to stand before the face of adversity can be quite difficult, especially when fear gets in the way. So in my research, I actually found 10 basic fears that we deal with um, from day to day. The first fear that we have to deal with from day to day is failure. Number two, death, rejection, ridicule, loneliness, misery, disappointment, pain, the unknown, losing freedom. So let's look at some situations where one of these 10 fears that I just named may get in the way of our courage. 
The first one, failure and disappointment can prevent us from returning back to school. Loneliness, the unknown, and death can actually prevent us from leaving an abusive spouse. Loneliness, misery, and the unknown can prevent us from leaving an environment of sin where we're living with someone that we're not married to. Pain, disappointment, and the unknown can actually prevent us from being in a committed relationship. Ridicule and rejection can prevent us from standing up and speaking God's truth to the world. Ridicule and rejection can also prevent us from saying no to friends. Misery and pain can prevent us from overcoming the past. And actually, all 10 failures can prevent us from standing in the mess that we created and deal with the actual consequences. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 reads, God says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Now take a look at this example of when Will Smith played a character in this particular movie where he did not allow any type of fear to get in the way of his courage. Take a look at this. Chris Gardner, how are you? Good morning. Chris Gardner. Chris Gardner, good to see you again. Chris Gardner, pleasure. I've been sitting out there for the last half hour trying to come up with a story that would explain my being here dressed like this. And, and I wanted to come up with a story that would demonstrate qualities that I'm sure you all admire here, like, like earnestness or diligence or team playing to something. And I couldn't think of anything. So the truth is, I was arrested for failure to pay parking tickets. Parking tickets? <laughs> and I ran all the way here from the, the Polk station, the police station. What were you doing before you were arrested? I was uh, painting my apartment. Is it dry now? <laughs> I hope so. Jay says you're pretty determined. Oh, he's been waiting outside the front of the building with some 40-pound gizmo for over a month. He said you're smart. I like to think so. And you want to learn this business? Yes, sir, I want to learn this business. Have you already started learning on your own? Absolutely. Jay. Yes, sir. How many times have you seen Chris? You know, I don't know. One too many, apparently. Has he ever dressed like this? No. No. Jacket and tie. First in your class? In school? High school? Yes, sir. How many in the class? Uh, Twelve. It's a small town. I'll say. But I was also first in my radar class in, in the Navy, and that was a class of 20. Chris, what would you say if a guy walked in for an interview without a shirt on? And I hired him. What would you say? He must have had on some really nice pants. <laughs> he did not have the proper attire for this particular interview. He did not allow any of those fears, like the fear of failure, rejection, ridicule, or even disappointment, prevent him from being successful in that interview. And of course, because he found the courage God so rightfully demands from us to stand before the face of adversity, 
he was very much so successful. I thought I'd uh, wear a shirt today, um, you know, being the last day and all. Well, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. But um, wear one tomorrow, though, okay? Because tomorrow's going to be your first day. If you'd like to work here as a broker. Would you like that, Chris? Yes, sir. Good. We couldn't be happier. So, welcome. Was it as easy as it looked? No, sir. No, no sir, it wasn't. Well, good luck, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to be strong and courageous the way God needs for us to be, we must have a relationship with him. So we must take out that five minutes I spoke about on my previous videos to where within that five minutes, we're taking the time to pray. We take the time to meditate, to read God's word. We take the time to worship and to praise him. And we want to make sure we take the time out to sit and just listen. Wait to hear him speak on your day as to what you are to do in your day. Now, you may not hear him when you first start off, but I guarantee if you continue to sit there anticipating to hear him speak, he's going to speak to you. But just give him five minutes. Surely you can find five minutes in 24 hours. Okay, well, Vivian says you put it that way. Yeah, I can find five minutes in 24 hours to start with to spend time getting to know God or getting to know the man they call Jesus. And I guarantee you, any adversity you meet within your day, you will have the courage you need in order to be successful. So, when it's easier to sit than to stand, be quiet than to speak, be still than to move, when it's easier to sin than to be holy, to lie than to tell the truth. To forget than to remember. When it's easier to go backwards than it is to go forward, we must allow ourselves to experience the power of Christ at that moment. We must cry out to God for the help to follow through on the courage he demands for us to have in our lives. Psalms chapter 3 verse 17. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. And in closing, although adversity is a test of our courage, we need to always remember that we can be courageous in the strength of God's might. And remember, whenever you're facing a challenge and it's hard to find the courage that you need, I leave you with Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Get to know the man they call Jesus. Until next time, you be blessed. Strength this side.